Okay, hello, I'm Chucky Taylor and welcome to Dorchester Sports Centre 1610. I'll be firstly talking about setting yourself realistic goals when going to the gym. Realistic goals in a sense of goals that you can actually attain and achieve so you've got a sense of completion. If you're not sure on your goals, you can always talk to one of the fitness staff in the centre. Okay, so you've now set yourself a realistic goal in the gym. It's time to start sharing. Share on Facebook, share on Twitter, share on Snapchat. Post as often as possible so others can be encouraged to do the same as yourself and also so you can be held accountable for your own goals. Okay, so we've set ourselves realistic goals. We've also posted all over social media about what we're getting up to. Next thing we're going to talk about is tracking your efforts. So you can use several different things like an Apple Watch or Strava or My Fitness World, or you can use the system we use here at 1610, which is the Techno Gym Wellness Key, which goes into each piece of kit, and then you can track everything you're doing and see where you are and see what you've been doing and see what new records you've set and what old records you've broken. Okay, a lot of people like to keep fit. There's various different ways of keeping fit. Try something new in the sense of if you go running all the time, maybe it's time to mix it up a little bit. Attend an exercise class or attend the gym. Or if you don't attend any exercise classes, go for daily walks, regular walks. Just stay active, stay fit. There's various sorts of sports you can take part in. There's football, rugby. There's even walking football for people who are slightly older. But it's just best to stay active if it's through swimming, running, or just attending classes, or even the gym. Okay, another great idea and a great way to work out is partner workout. As you can probably guess, a lot of people go to the gym with a partner. It helps you to encourage you to do more. It helps you push you a bit further. It's far less boring. And also, if you've got somebody else to bounce off, you might come up with some new ideas. But don't just stop there. If you ain't got a partner, it's a good opportunity to try out group exercise. So you can be in a fitness environment with lots of other people, like-minded people, all working out together to take the thinking out of it and you can just concentrate on working out and looking good. Okay, and the element that's not really talked about too often in fitness is fun. The more fun a fitness workout is, the harder you're going to work out and the less you realise you're working. I don't personally like the concept of the word workout. We should find something more fun for it, but keep it fun, keep it interesting and you get better results and more out of it. The more you smile, the more endorphins are released into your body, the more likely you are to come back and do it again.